Cheers y'all. This is one of those mind over matter days when the last thing that I want to do right now <laughs> is go out for a run. Uh, one of the hardest parts I think about this time of year, love the holidays, but with the holidays comes weekend plans, festivities, etc. So uh, late night last night, lots of food, lots of drinking, uh, had some escargot for dinner, some eggnog for dessert, so you know, just all of the things that sit super nice in your stomach <laughs> the morning after for a weekend long run. Uh, so I am getting ready to head out on. Goal is gonna be 14 miles for today. Uh, really need to start up in that long mileage, uh, that long run mileage on the weekend. So 14 miles is the goal. Uh, I think it's just gonna be slow, steady miles. Mantra this morning is just keep moving forward. Uh, it's pretty cold out. It looks like, at least for the weather forecast, it might start raining at any moment. So fingers crossed that we avoid being wet and cold. Um, but we said we were gonna do it. It's on the training plan. So as much as I would love to be curled up at home on the couch, this is what we're doing. I have not run down this way in quite a while. Um, but man, missed how like just eerily quiet <laughs> it is. Um, there's something like real weird, but also so calming, I think about like the beach, the ocean in winter, I think because no one else is here. Plus like <laughs> the abandoned beach house, for sure a weird spot. Um, but again, like it's just so soothing running down here. I wish it was a little bit longer. Um, it's just kind of like a short little detour on the run, uh, but happy I made it, at least for this one. Uh, probably gonna start making regular trips back here throughout the winter. We are halfway done. Hardest part is over. <laughs> I hope at least now every step is a step closer to home. Uh, I will be, got a little bit of a headwind headed back. Not too bad, but it is significantly colder running back than it was running out. Uh, but made it the furthest I've ever made it out in the Rockways before, all the way into Breezy Point. So uh, really nice run, positive so far. The legs are feeling really good. Um, stomach has not been an issue, thank God, knock on wood. Hopefully that continues to be the case, but overall feeling really good, feeling energized. Uh, and so happy I was able to get out there, uh, get out here, and hopefully the rest of the run is as good as the first half. So I'll see you back towards the apartment. Run and done, sitting down trying to shield myself from the wind, so hopefully that's working. Uh, but 14 miles, just under 2.25, 2 hours, 25 minutes for the run, around a 10, 15 mile pace average, so pretty good. Nutrition actually worked real well. Energy-wise, I feel pretty solid. Legs are definitely a little beat up, um, but that's to be expected. Again, the long runs are gonna take a toll just because I'm rebuilding that distance, um, but definitely a win today. Was pretty miserable getting ready this morning 
morning and getting out the door, uh, but for the most part felt really good on the run. So I'm counting that as a win. Uh, weird, I was having an issue. Sorry, there wasn't more footage from the second half of the run. My GoPro, I'm assuming it was the cold. All right, we're back. Sorry, I had a plane going overhead, but yeah, didn't have much footage from the second half of the run because uh, the GoPro started turning itself off saying that the battery was low. Uh, it was at like 45%. So I'm assuming it was an issue with the cold, although it's not terribly cold out. I think it's like 40 um, with the wind chill running into the wind. I have it on my chest. So maybe that cooled it down. We'll have to see, but i um, not super thrilled <laughs> about that, especially since the temperature might be a little chilly for the, the hundred miler in Texas in February. So we'll see, we'll uh, do some experimenting, see what's going on, but great run today. Feeling good about it. Cheers y'all, how's it going? I've got a quick training update as we continue to prepare for the Rocky Raccoon 100 miler in February. And the theme of this training block really seems to be one step forward, two steps back. Maybe not quite two steps back, um, but it has certainly been a difficult journey. And it seems like anytime I start to get some momentum, uh, something just grabs me and pulls me right back. And this week, uh, I was feeling really good after that, that weekend run. So I'm recording this about a week after that 14 miler I did last weekend. That was a huge confidence builder, took Monday off to rest, was back at it Tuesday, had a six miler on Tuesday. Again, feeling really good, really strong. Running was starting to feel much easier, much less of a labor, and just was able to go out and go enjoy some nice, easy, casual, smooth miles great sign in training. That's usually the mark where I'm like, all right, cool. I'm adapting. Everything's feeling good. Again, very taking everything very slow. No speed work, no nothing like that. So great six miler on Tuesday. Woke up again Wednesday, went out for an easy four miler. That one was a little harder. I think probably just because the back-to-back -back runs, mileage was starting to add up, um, but by no means painful, no means difficult, just a little bit more of a struggle uh, over Tuesday's run. Cut to... Well, I guess I'll stick to Wednesday. Later on in Wednesday, my right knee was just nagging me a little bit. Nothing serious, just like, okay, this is, I need to work on strength training, need to work on flexibility. It felt like probably the patella tendon, just like a little inflamed, overuse, ramping up quickly. So need to address some imbalances to fix that. Wednesday night, feeling pretty good. It's really only bothering me going up and down stairs, no real issue. So I decide right before I go to sleep to dedicate some time to some real serious stretching, um, like long, slow holds to hopefully increase flexibility, particularly in the hamstrings and in the quads to relieve some of the tension on the knees. Again, not really thinking this is a big issue. I could still run, not a, not a lot of pain. Go to sleep, wake up on Thursday morning, that knee feels absolutely fine. No pain, no tenderness, no issue on stairs. But my left knee, I cannot bend. Uh, and it was a completely, I don't even know, completely different kind of pain. I don't know if I would describe it as pain so much as just like stiffness and soreness not localized to a single spot. Like with the patella tendon, it was very clear where it was coming from. In the left knee, it was just like the whole knee was kind of locked up and had had zero issues, like no inkling of discomfort, no inkling of pain at all the day before. Hadn't done anything that I thought, or like that I can jog my memory that would have caused like this significant amount of stress to the knee or, or, or soreness in the knee, but having a real hard time bending it, any kind of like up and down movement, I was working from home that day, so I was like, great, I'll just sit on the couch and rest it. But it seemed like going from sitting to standing, like sitting for a long period of time and then standing was when it was at its worst. Moving around started to loosen up, but just very, very tender. Uh, and the piece that I was most nervous about was not only was it just like the bending difficult, but the knee just felt kind of unstable, especially like side to side. Like if I moved wrong, it could pop something I've never had happen before. Uh, and again, I don't think was actually at risk of dislocating or anything like that. But again, just whatever the injury was or whatever happened, the knee just felt very unstable. And the only thing that I can think of is maybe I like hyperextended something when I was stretching. But again, like, it's not like I was doing any crazy stretches. It wasn't like I was over extending during anything. I can't pinpoint a mo any moment. There wasn't any pain or discomfort in the moment. So I can't figure out exactly what caused it. All I know is waking up Thursday was in a tremendous amount of pain. And even Thursday night going to sleep was having a hard time go to, going to sleep because just at rest, just laying, it was very, very, very sore. Um, so trying to find a position to like keep it bent at the perfect angle, not have pressure on it 
was a lot, was just very tough. So Friday, a lot of the same, just very, very stiff. I did on Friday wrap it super tight in an ACE bandage to help with that instability issue. And that helped a ton. I think just taking the pressure off of all the muscles in the area that are responsible for bending and extending the joint, taking some of the stress off of that relieved a lot of the soreness. It was still sore throughout the day, but having it compressed like that, having it wrapped like that certainly helps. So that's gonna be my plan for the next few days. And it seems to have paid off. It is now Saturday, feels a lot better. I don't feel as unstable, like it feels sort of back to its the normal strength, I would say, um, but still definitely sore, particularly going from like sitting to standing, that bending motion. So I'm gonna keep it wrapped. I'm taking a lot of Tylenol, just alternating heating and cooling, but I'm happy with how much better it feels today compared to yesterday because the first two days had me very nervous that it was something more serious. Moving around today feels a lot better, feels like it's getting back to where it was. So I'm hoping it was just maybe like a little strain um, from the stretching or again, just have no idea what caused it. But we are now seven weeks out, almost exactly seven weeks out from the race, which means we really only have five weeks of training and then two weeks of taper. So still feeling good, definitely a little nervous, but not uh, much feeling much better now after the improvement I saw last night into today. So I'm gonna continue to just alternate the heat and the ice, continue to keep the ACE bandage on when I'm up and moving around just to help support the joint, probably get a brace uh, and just continue pushing forward. Five more weeks of training uh, before the taper. It's crazy how close the race is, but just wanted to provide a brief training update because my intention of this video started so high after Saturday's run with how good I was feeling and then plummeted back down this week. And now I'd say we've climbed about halfway back up. So we're in that middle ground of just like cautiously optimistic as we, as we move forward. But uh, that's the training update for this week. Five more weeks till Rocky Raccoon 100 miler. It's been a crazy journey already. I'm sure it will continue to be so. But as always, thank you all for following along on this journey. If you don't already, I hope you'll click that subscribe button and please give the video a thumbs up. That helps other folks find the video as well. I'll keep moving forward. And until next time, I'll see you around. Cheers.